The ship's cook slowly approached the Inquisition checkpoint. He whistled from around the corner, drawing one guard away from his post while my navigator teleported through the wall to kill the other one. As the remaining Inquisitor neared the bush where the rest of my crew was hiding, my ghostly spy possessed him. The spy, now a supernatural Agent 47 wearing the guard's body as a disguise, returned to the checkpoint and waited, sabotaging a suspended crate to crush the approaching Inquisition leader, leaving the rest of my squad free to rescue the final cursed crewmate and make our escape. Imagine many more moments like that and you'll have a good idea what it was like to preview Shadow Gambit, the cursed crew. The power of the cursed. Shadow Gambit is an isometric, squad-based stealth strategy game, populated by a diverse, bizarre cast of idiosyncratic supernatural pirates. And based on what I've played thus far, it's shaping up to be a fantastic time. My custodians are ready, ship. It deftly balanced both fairly open-ended levels and tightly crafted encounter design. It gave me all the tools, the characters, and the room to do things my way, and it let me come up with fun, creative solutions as I stole my way through the Lost Caribbean. If you've played other top-down strategy games, the gameplay of Shadow Gambit may be familiar to you. But there are lots of little wrinkles that brought it to life for me. Between the mystical pirate setting, having perfect information, the wide range of special abilities, having multiple different ways to tackle each level, and granular difficulty options, there's a lot to love. The art direction, music, and atmosphere are also evocative, and most dialogue is voiced in an exaggerated manner very appropriate for a setting like this, which was a nice surprise. So this is Angler's Green. Each member of the titular Cursed crew has different abilities, and it was easy to craft a three-person team that felt very me as I searched for hidden pirate treasure. Aphia has a short-range teleport attack and can freeze enemies in time for a few seconds. Solidi, the ship's doctor and a dryad, can throw spores at enemies to cause them to walk away from their posts, or even cause a bush to grow instantly anywhere, creating new hiding spots. Where do I get those seeds? Pincus, the ghostly spy, can possess enemies, letting him move freely behind enemy lines. And these are just three of the eight total crewmates in Shadow Gambit. Teresa, the silent sniper. Toya, the teleporting cook. The list goes on. Each character brought an interesting spread of strategic abilities to the table and represented a different region of this fictionalized world, so it was easy and fun to try different combinations of characters to lean into whatever I thought might work in the moment. Combining those abilities to create powerful strategic situations and then using those to systematically pick apart the Inquisition's defense was the most fun I had during my time, and it's the thing I can't wait to get back to when the full game is released. My team's powers are far from the only engaging aspect or interesting point of articulation in Shadow Gambit. Detailed mission areas, which feature several possible starting point, multiple ways in and out of most areas, unique traversal options available to different crewmates, and interactable elements of the environment like enemy corpses, climbing vines, waterways, torches, crates, boulders, and more. Good riddance. Combined to make Shadow Gambit feel more immersive, sparking my creativity and letting me play my way. Don't worry, I have my own tricks up my sleeve. Mimimi, Me, 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 the developers and publishers of Shadow Gambit, are also responsible for Shadow Tactics, Blades of the Shogun, and Desperados 3. So I'm expecting the high degree of quality I've enjoyed in the preview to carry through to the full release. Shadow Gambit will reportedly take 25 hours to beat, and I had access to the approximately 6 hours which comprise its first act, which gave me a nice spread of missions with different goals, enemies, crew members, and mission lengths. Between solid quality of life options, granular difficulty, a fun setting, and lots of weird abilities to experiment with through thoughtfully crafted areas. Shadow Gambit is now one of my most anticipated games of 2023, which is a crazy thing given how crowded the gaming landscape is about to be. And as an added bonus, a free demo will be available for Shadow Gambit during Steam Next Fest from June 19th to 26th. For more Shadow Gambit The Cursed Crew, check out our Developer Insight video. And for everything else, keep it locked to IGN.